So are you a player who's struggling with coming over the top in the golf swing and hitting big pulls and slices? If that's you, then in this video I've got three simple fixes that's really going to help stop that over the top. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Danny Malcolm and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how you can stop coming over the top. It's probably one of the most common things I see on a daily basis with most everyday golfers that results in those big pull shot, those slices, depending on where your club face is. And it's one that, yeah, just a lot of players struggle with. So today I've got three simple fixes that I'd love you to, uh, to give a try next time you're practicing. And they're at different stages of the swing. So I've got one for setup, one for the backswing, and also one for the downswing. So the first thing is in the setup, probably the most simple thing we can do because it's before we hit the shot. So everybody can put themselves in a good setup position. So one thing you can do to help with that over the top at setup is to get this trail foot and just flare it out about 20 or 25 degrees. So from front on, it'll look something like this. The reason being and how that's going to help is by having that a little bit more flared out, it's going to allow you to get a little bit more rotation in the backswing, get your hands a little bit deeper behind you. Whereas without that, oftentimes players, most, most people pretty tight in the hips with our way of life and, and our desk jobs, sitting in the car a lot of times. So by having the feet squared on, it can often limit your ability to rotate. And from there, when we start to turn in the downswing, We'll come over the top. So by flaring that out, 20, 25 degrees, we can now get a little bit more rotation, which is gonna allow our hands to travel a little bit more around us. In the downswing, we'll be able to get the club on a much better delivery into the ball and stop that over the top. So give that a go first. Second is something you can do in your backswing. Now again, the backswing is gonna be something a little bit easier to do. It's not as, unlike the downswing, as you're coming from the top of the swing into impact, it's over like that. So very, very difficult to change that unless you're a player that can practice a lot as well. So now in the backswing, oftentimes if we're getting the swing in this position, which would look a relatively good backswing there at the top of the swing, but then most players will rotate from there and then the arms will come out, the shaft will get steep over the top and they'd hit the pull or slice or they'd have to correct late in the swing. So one thing we can do now this is a particularly good tip if you're somebody who might have tight lats, let's say, or limited mobility, and someone that might not be having a lot of time to practice. What we can simply do in the backswing is just put the club deeper behind us. So from here, we can just swing that club more around, put a club deeper behind us, and then from there, just do what you normally do in the downswing. And as you turn down, that club's going to come a little bit out relative to where it was in a backswing, but it's going to come back on a much better plane and get a lovely path into the ball. You might even hit nice little draws from there, depending on your club face. So it might not look technically amazing as you come a little bit more around, but it's going to help you get that club on a better position on that downswing. Because if you just swung normally and come over the top, then we're going to hit those pulls and slices. So that's one to give a try. Number two, great again, if you've got limited mobility and unable to really get the arms up high and a simple one just as a, a simple fix put the club deeper behind you and do what you normally do the third one now is for the downswing now this takes a little bit more practice a really good visual for this as well and one of my favorite drills to do for players that come over the top so just imagine you've got a clock face around you here so let's say this was 12 o'clock on the clock face this would be three o'clock i'm just going to get a golf club or in this case an alignment rod and just place it on what would be roughly about 4.30 on the clock face there. So what we want to do here, when you make your normal swing to the top, so we've got a normal setup, normal backswing for this particular drill, to the top of the swing. Now again, if you're a player that comes over the top from there, you could explore visually trying to match your club and your shaft up to that stick on the ground. And with that being there, you can really see this as you're, as you're coming down. And just do a few slow swings and start to see that club matching up to that stick on the ground. So you'll probably be more exaggerating that club being more behind you rather than this way to get that feel. So you can do that nice and slowly. And if your lower body works correctly and the club comes on this beautiful path here, 
as soon as you start to rotate from there, the club's going to come back out in front, get a beautiful ride into the ball. Again, you might hit nice little draws from there as well. So that's one that takes a bit more practice because it's happening so quick from the top of the swing into impact, but a, a lovely one, a lovely one to try. So three ideas there, one simple fix at setup. You can flare that foot out. You've got one simple fix in the backswing. Swing, put the club deeper behind you, get the arms deeper behind you, and that's gonna help you do what you normally do and get the club on a beautiful path on the way down. And the third one, as we've just said, is getting that club to match up to that 430 stick before you start turning through the shot. So you can give that a go in that order, or you could just try two, or if you're really struggling with coming over the top, why not try blending all three together? So that might be a good one again if you're struggling with some mobility issues or if you have limited time to practice. So all three together would be number one, a setup, foot flared out, 20, 25 degrees in the backswing, put the arms deeper behind you, and then in the downswing, try and match that club up to that stick on the ground. And from there, you should be able to start hitting draws, no problem. So. Give those a try, I hope that helps. And if you are interested in online coaching with myself, please click the link above there for more information. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.